Hey everybody, very exciting day in the hospital, uh, not a good day at all. This was where the swine catheter was located, where they were feeding all my medicines through into my heart. And today my doctor came in and he said they wanted to swap the catheter out for a new catheter. So they sent me to the um, cath lab this afternoon and when I got down there um, my doctor is not there but there are a couple of nurses from this floor and then the staff of the cath lab well they determined that I needed to be given the medicines that I was being given continuously even through the procedure of swapping the swan out so they wanted to start another IV well, so the first nurse tried, and that's right there, if you can see the little spot. Not sure if you can, but there it is. And she said I was dehydrated, and my veins were flat. So the second nurse tried, and that one was right there. Right there somewhere. Can't see with this light, but there's one right on my wrist right there. Then the third nurse tried, and we got that band-aid right there and then the fourth nurse tried with a ultrasound and you can see that my arm is blue pretty much from the from the elbow up and down and you can see the big hole where they dug around in there looking for a vein so that was four misses so then they changed the plan. Instead of changing the medicines from here and putting them on an IV, they were going to leave this catheter in and they were just going to put a catheter in on the other side of my neck. So they made that decision. They didn't ask about any devices or anything. The uh, They didn't really look at any um, radiology images or x-rays so they prep the site and the doctor cuts into the site and as he's cutting into the site he asked me Do you have a defibrillator or any kind of devices on the left side of your body I said yes I have a defibrillator and a left side left ventricular assist device. And he's like, oh no. Well, we'll try anyway. So, they start a catheter in this side of my neck. And they get it about halfway in. And it gets hung on the defibrillator or some other device in there and they can't move it and so they spend some time twisting it around back and forth trying to move it and they're not successful and so they pull it out and they zip that side up so then they decide that they are going to put a catheter in my leg and bring it up to my heart so now I have uh, a swan catheter that enters my thigh just below the waist and it goes in and comes all the way up to my heart and that they took the neck catheter out well they didn't tell me this at the time but after all all that went on I've got this leg catheter and I cannot sit up, 
I can't bend at the waist more than 30 degrees. I also can't bend my, my right leg at the hip. So that means that I'm dependent now upon someone to get me everything. Whereas I could get up and at least walk around and poop and stuff like that before this little episode. I can't do anything without help now. So it's a little bit frustrating. But I'm still here, still on 1A status. My doctor will be back in the morning, and I'm sure that he'll say, what the hell is that, and send me back down there, and they'll put another catheter in my neck and pull this one out of my leg and charge the insurance companies another couple of thousand bucks, and things will be better for me anyway. But um, not overall a great day. But uh, anyway, uh, you guys... Shoot me an email or hit me up on Facebook if you uh, have any questions, and I'll talk to you later.